Hey TNT Strong, Weston here. Taryn's a little farther up the trail. We are on the Arch Loop Trail, still up by the Whitney Portal. Um, but since the hike was closed due to something to do with COVID-19, uh, we're finding a couple other local trails to do. You can see Mount Whitney behind me. Still having some fun. Uh, would have really liked it to climb Mount Whitney though. And we'll be back up here though in a few more months to make sure we check this off uh, the to-do to list. So hopefully this video is still fun and interesting. A lot of cool rocks around here. Um, really interesting how they're formed. Um, hopefully you like it. Hey TNT Strong, we are up at Cottonwood Pass. We were supposed to be hiking Mount Whitney today, uh, but we found another trail. We're up at about 10,000 feet and it should be about nine miles round trip. So a little less than even half of what Mount Whitney would be, uh, but sometimes you have to deal with setbacks. So hopefully you like some of the footage we get. It's beautiful up here. Now, nah, lots of nice trees, a little different than what we filmed yesterday. So a little variety there. See you later. Weston here from the future, as you can tell because I'm not out of breath while talking. I want to briefly talk to you about exercising at altitude and training for it. First, as you can tell by our breathing and how hard it is at just simply walking around, we're working at a much higher altitude than we're used to, and it can take a few weeks to become adjusted to working up here. One of the best tips to avoid altitude sickness is being properly hydrated as well as not drinking alcohol. Leave me a comment below at the highest you've ever been and where it was.
Hydration, fruit, food, check. Relaxating view, check. Relaxating, relaxation view, a relaxing view maybe. <laughs> There are a few exercise protocols that can help for training uh, for an evented altitude, and I'll post those in the description below. But it's important to modify your expectations when you're working in a vastly different environment up high like this. Um, if you're trying to place first or second, you might need to understand that coming you know, 10,000 feet higher than you're normally used to, that might not happen. One of my favorite facts about altitude is that you hear all the time that the air is thinner up here or that there's less oxygen in the air. And that's just not true. There's actually just less atmosphere above you pushing the air into your lungs. Think about diving down to the bottom of a pool. You know that pressure you get on your ears? It's the same principle here, but in reverse, meaning that you have to work harder to pull the atmosphere into your lungs for that needed oxygen. Thank you for joining us up here at Lone Pine. We should be back in a few months to conquer Mount Whitney, hopefully if it's open. If you're not subscribed, please consider do so and leaving us a thumbs up. See you next time.